right to outside rain. That's again. Again, do it again. Three loops. Good job in the corner. Now let her neck down just a half a centimeter. There you go. Good. Good. Already be thinking supple so that you can put her neck down again a half a centimeter. That's it. Super. And then ride a shallow loop on this side. A-X-H. Though you're not bending your neck left in your change of bend, you are suppling the left jaw so that you can connect to the outside rig. Good. Again, one loop. Good. See how that didn't flow as forward as it should have? It got a little bit like crooked and kinked, the first part of that loop. I couldn't get her in front of my leg. Yep, so it's got to happen here in the corner, okay? It's got to be yes. more already facing straighter. Yep. It's not about more leg, it was just you were late with the shaping of her neck and the bend and your inside leg. You had plenty, plenty of bend. That's what made her kink a little bit. So she got a little too backwards in that rain correction. Use more leg. Flow forward as you change. You have at least, I don't know, four or five strides to change the bend here. That's better. There you go. There. See, and so that time you didn't try to just all at once get the bend to the left in the first part of your turn. So you can have a few strides to go forward and develop it. She can't do it in one step. I should just ride it out stairs more. There you go. I'm just like, I'm bringing out my stairs. develop in a forward way as well. So you can always think you can have falls in one step or two steps. That's better. That was a nice corner. Now half fall here in two steps, changing the bend as you go. your left rein just be a, a little bit shorter so that your arm doesn't come down quite so far as you try to do what you do with it. That's it. That's better. The longer your outside rein in that instance, the, the, the longer it takes her to respond without you having to use too big a movement. So shorter rein means a quicker response. That's it. And a lighter action on your part. Lighter as the range gets shorter, you have to melt it as you grow. That's it. Good. And change range again. But is she rounding up for that medium type trot? No. no. So why, why do we keep going? All she did is get more flat, and you lost her hind legs, but she's not going to help you with the frame in that corner, okay? So don't go more forward unless she's supple in your hand. It's going to develop over her back, not just by her legs going quicker, okay? The, her legs getting quicker is never a pretty thing. Yeah, I actually didn't think she was in front of my legs, so I wasn't looking for more speed, but to get her out. But that's when she didn't do it, though, did she? Right. She just got longer and longer and longer. Yeah, just try to just hold back a little Not suppler. And half up in your core. Stretch up as you supple right where your hands are. Supple, but stretch up a little bit. There you go. Good. So the body can be a powerful tool in helping you to reorganize the hind leg. But if you don't use it, then you only end up with the leg and the hand. It becomes too simplified. Right? Too basic. That's it. Or even here. Just stretch up a little bit. Just think you could grow taller in your torso as you supple your jaw and keeping your legs in the Not bigger. Not bigger. That's it. The 
challenge for you is to ride it more together instead of bigger and bigger and bigger. You probably feel as if when she's going that forward, it's much easier to ride, but it, it is in a sense because you can just follow through and go with her, but she's not really carrying herself through her body in that track. She's just sort of winging it. It is much easier to go quicker. That was better corner. Now control them. Think of the tempo. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. That's it. Good, and you should keep saying that in your head. One, two, one, two, one, two. The numbers when it should be up or down. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Because it's still only a two beat gait, so it doesn't matter if you're counting one when you're up or one when you're down. It doesn't really matter. The rhythm's the same. I personally would go one when you're up. One, two. One, two, the idea is you're trying to get her legs to go in the same tempo as you're counting. Right now they're going slightly quicker than I was counting, correct? Uh, I actually don't know, that's why I asked. The one I count, and you tell me if I'm counting right. Okay. Because when you count. But I want you to think about a tempo that you want, not the one you have, okay? Still riding the same, it's just that you're, you're thinking about how you can control your posting with that counting. Having that rhythm in your head is very important. Correct your diagonal. I like that long side a lot. I even like that short side a lot. That was very good. See, and this is this should be what, what's going through your head more than anything else is this one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and okay? That's where you have to start. Good. Now does she want to seek the rain a little bit in your hand without changing your tempo? That's it. See, in that turn, she got a little unbalanced to the left, so you needed your inside seat and leg and outside rein to balance her up again and control it. Right. Before you walk. What happened to the sitting truck? 